Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, the Horse Lord Mega Campaign. In the last episode, we tried to go to war with Kabar. I think to take this county here, because it's, it basically is irritating me. Um, so we need to get rid of that, but we were beaten soundly by Kabar's cavalry forces, because they are still nomadic. So they have a large cavalry horde. Like 1,800 light cavalry and over 1,000 heavy cavalry in that army. Well, actually, another 2,200 light cavalry. So, uh, and at the moment, our own army is mostly, I think it's like mostly light infantry. Yeah, the vast bulk of them are the light infantry. And they just can't stand up against the cow. So, uh, we need to do something about that. It's because we switched to feudal and we just haven't built up anything that, you know, would give us a lot of cavalry at this point. Like we need to get, like, stables built and everything. We just don't have enough money. As we're working on trying to get these um tribal titles converted we just have a lot of work to do to get up to the capability that we can actually fight them uh in a way that would work now they are currently distracted by a couple of wars they have a revolt and here they're also fighting these guys over here, this is just all a mess. So, I mean, I'd love to try to take advantage. I mean, we can raise, like, 18,000 troops. I just, we just also can't keep them in the field because we just don't have enough supply. All right, I was bored until I remembered the prisoner in my dungeon. Um. There's so many deliciously cruel ideas of what to do with the prisoner, but I finally narrowed down the ideas. We reduce the food rations and release some rats in the cell. Um, are we cruel? Yeah, we are cruel. Um, I guess we can release some rats in the prisoner's cell. I mean... And the problem is that now I also have, I also have a truce. So I can't really do anything against him for a while yet. I'm gonna go corral, sure. I could, I was gonna also try to take this, but I don't have a, a Cassius Belli to take that county, which is weird, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, is there anything else that I could try? He's got some stuff in his treasury. My chief Yunal was introduced by a mutual friend, Chief Belark Mac. We talked for a while. Alright. We'll be friends. Let's see, I just don't have enough plot power to do anything. Interesting. He has a Chinese wife. All right, we're going to get carousing. I'm waiting for this to finish. He wants to seat on the council. I would not bother you with such petty assignments. All right, yep, we made friends, good. Finish on the 6th of December, okay. There it goes, now it's done.
Oh, that was just to make it a reinforced hill fort. Okay. You still have to make it a stone hill fort. So we need about 300 more gold. Oh, our truce is about to expire. Good. Lord Rasat asked for an audience with you. My lord, a vision of Tunak came to me and commanded that I build a temple in Gordes. I will need your help, however, for I am uncertain if I can complete this grand project on my own. A temple in Gordes? That would be great. Um, would I pay for it myself? No. I shall appeal to the Tangri Faithful on your behalf. I have 220 piety. It'll cost me 100. The lords and ladies of the Bulgar Empire will all help you. It'll cost me 250 prestige, which I can easily spend. Alright. Yep, I can do that. Stuff going on over there. Okay, so the revolt in Novgorod is over. But the revolt in Greater Perm is still going on. Alright, they gave me some piety. Great. Alright, the other thing we can do is go raiding a bit. We're gonna try and press a du jour ducal claim. I don't even know how I would do that. Up there. Because I don't have enough boats to sail across. I don't really want to march the army all the way over there. Try to get these pieces. Daughter was born to Prince Kuvrat of the Bulgar Empire, my half brother. And right now, our current heir is our daughter. Alright, so we no longer have the truce. We no longer have the truce. Attacking High Chief. It's 80% in favor of this guy. I mean, I could bring 20,000 troops to bear. Do I have anywhere that could actually support that many troops? That's the question. There. But I would suffer attrition within my own territory with an army that big. Get legalism to five. Worship the ancestors. You can do that. Guide my sword in battle, let me conquer my enemies. Um, I don't know if I want to mutilate this guy. Chief. Some random dude I caught? Who's Slavic? Yes, may this soul serve you well in the afterlife. Alright. His army is off doing things. I guess we can give it another shot.
It'd be a border dispute for Mordva. Let's do it. Supply limits, supply limits, supply limits. Current winter is severe. Let's bring everybody to Suzdal. <laughs> Good time for my marshal to become unavailable in one way or another and we have a peasant revolt really all right I had uh... I'm having kids with everyone but my wife. That's just strange. And I have to deal with this peasant revolt? Alright, you guys redirect let's hope I don't need these troops Filled my ambition to win a war against the peasant revolt, really. Um, have a son is what my ambition is going to be. New court chaplain. There's an enemy army down there. I'm not dealing with it until I'm at full strength. Severe winter going on. People we'll say my daughter, she has the flu. Okay. Workers become boring in the hours of the day drag on. I lose diligence. Let's march at least start getting closer. Gotta beat his army in the field.
Is there a... No, there's no river crossing there. Right, it's 12,000 men versus 4,000 men. Well, it was 13,000 men versus 4,000. I caught the Kagan in battle. Perfect. War over. I win. You lose. Go home. Alright. So, now we need to give this to somebody. Your duchies. It's part of the Mordvin's duchy. Which we haven't actually created yet, because it's too expensive. Well, what I'll probably do is give it to this guy. There we go. Hey, my half-brother Kuvrat asked me for landed estates to live off of. Uh, no. Hmm, something else that I wanted to do, I was thinking about it, is I need to build up my grace with a new emperor. Send a eunuch. My half-brother, Elemeg. The Bulgar Empire. He's 18. How did he end up a eunuch? Interesting. Well, let's send him over. Alright, he has graciously accepted our gift. We are flattered to receive a close relative of yours. The generosity of the Volkill dynasty will not be forgotten. Get rid of a potential threat. There we go. Alright, how much do we need to get this upgraded? We need 143, okay. Now, is he attacking? No. Bulan is attacking him. Interesting. A bold move. Something is going on over here. Turkish Liberation Revolt. Okay, so he's got a rebellion on his hands. All right, oh, we got enough gold now. We're gonna go ahead and get you upgrading to Stone Hill Fort. And we need to raid somebody. The juiciest territory is gonna be here along our southern border. Learn about the mad woman who tries to blackmail. Yep, I'll help him out. Rare reports will reach you regarding your Marshal, Marshal Khan Kardam. It seems he has been using my soldiers to extort money from the peasantry. Is no longer Marshal. He loses 15, 50 prestige. It doesn't affect our local tax modifier or our local revolt risk. All it really affects is the guy. He's the Khan of Novgorod. He likes me. Oh well, he has forfeited his office. Alright, I'll bring my cousin in. 
is Marshall. Train troops. Oh, we're actually getting some good economy in some of these. Because they have actual cities down here now. He is offering me a ransom of 25 gold. I will take the gold. Do we ever get that? No, we never actually got that temple. Oh, just as I was talking about it, he's finally completed work on his new temple. Alright, so now we have a temple here in Gorodez. Alright. Need a new court physician. You'll do. And a new chaplain. You'll do. And get the proselytizing. Alright, well let's raise an army that we can use for some raiding. Offer you the safe release of some random dude for 10 gold? Uh, no. Alright, what do we got here? 13.6 protect uh, possible loot. My obesity and my hunger of food has left me with no desire left in my body. Okay. I'm guessing that I can't... I can't join the Plaguebringers now because I don't have one of those other traits. Seven point four or thirteen point six. We'll go with the thirteen point six. And I'm not actually gonna be in this in this group. We're gonna we're gonna send Cardam, who abused his office to oversee this raiding party. Alright, he improved the mood of the tradition faction. Alright, do we go for the siege? Let's run the assault. Boom, got it. Alright, we can upgrade you to castle. Do it. Title Conant of Livonia. What happened? Okay, so he took Livonia. Okay, that's that's fine. Are the Byzantines busy dealing with something else? Defending against Stratikos Druzlov of Galilee in third war against the tyranny of Basilius Neophytos of Galilee. Interesting. 
Well, that's leaving me free to raid. So I won't argue with it. Alright, we're prospering. I have no great love for High Chief Anbol of Alania. You had no idea he despised you so much. Okay. He doesn't really hate me that much. Alright, the Khan of Volga wants to marry a courtier? Yeah, that's fine. The Khan Kardim denounced me harshly at a faction meeting. He was at a faction meeting while he's leading a raiding party? Impressive. Alright, we broke those guys. Now to... Oh! Nice try. Well, I may have overstayed our welcome. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna get that before he's ready to come back at us. And uh, we got lucky once, we're not gonna get lucky again. Do I wanna try and raid here a little bit? Are you fighting? Defending against Stratikos Gennadios II of Nicaea. Okay. Let me leave him distracted. What are we? Are we not raiding? No, we're not raiding at all. Are they not infidels that we can raid for loot? Now we're raiding here. Interesting. Almortang has asked for an audience with you, my lord. A vision of Erlik Khan came to me and commanded me that I build a temple in Nizhny Novgorod. I'll need your help. Ah, the lords and ladies of the Bulgar Empire will help you build the temple. Good, because if I don't have to actually build the temple, well, speaking of building things, um, we can get you upgrading your hill for it. For the years of the Bulgar Empire, the Khanate of Novgorod is not considered de jour part of it. Ah, nice. Where are we achieving victories? That was strange and we're no longer raiding. Um, I don't know what just happened there. All right, well, I'll just come home, stand down the army because they're gonna get cranky about it. Yep, there they are. My daughter lacks a childhood focus. I'm gonna go with duty. She's being educated by my cousin, who is our marshal. That's fine. Khan Karnam and Novgorod has formed an alliance with Chief of Moscow. My daughter is my heir. Since I still don't have a male heir, which is a bit weird, I may need to consider the possibility of my realm passing to my daughter. Rulership is harder for a woman, but not impossible. If I were to start raising her as my heir now, she would be better prepared should she succeed me to the throne. I will raise a ruler to be proud of. Training female heir. 
I get a minus 25 opinion to everybody. I might still have a son. Can I eat a 25 point hit to my opinion? Across the board. Not really. Craven versus Brave, Chase versus Lustful. Once seat on the council, yeah. I might still have a son. Um, oil up the rack. Okay, so. In that vein. Are there any concubines that we could take that would be a member of a- no. We need to have a son with our wife. He's now 27 years old. So nice now you've been able to sleep well and usually starts at midnight. The howling of wolves outside. You toss and turn and sometimes go back to sleep, but the howling doesn't stop until late in the morning. And even then, as the silence falls, you miss the sound of the canine voices on the wind. You feel restless. What is this? Yet not sleeping well. Alright, I think what we might need to do is do something that increases- well, this does increase my fertility. But I'm not using it all, so... Um, fertility increase, which I guess we'll go with a family focus for now. It never stops. Night after night, the wolves keep howling outside. No one is sleeping well, but you are probably the one suffering more than anyone. Not only does the howling prevent you from sleeping, but when it stops, you can't stop thinking about it. Waiting for it to come back. I'll go outside and meet the wolves alone. I'll go out bringing guards. Oh wait, surely this madness will stop soon. You ignore the wolves from now on. Currently busy. I want to see what happens to this. If I die, I'm going to be taking over as a seven-year-old girl. As you carefully approach the wolves alone, they stand and wait for you, absolutely still. It turns out to be a pack of about a dozen. As you reach them, they approach you one by one, smelling you and nudging you with their noses, growling softly. A feeling of belonging wells up inside you and you feel a quickening throughout your entire body. After a few moments, the wolves begin to move, beckoning you to join them. And you start to jog, breaking into a run soon. You are running at full speed, following the pack of wolves into the wild. Okay. Alright. Ah, uh, the wolves hunt. You have been running with the wolves for a while now. Keeping up with their pace exerts you to near your physical limits, but it also makes you feel strong and alive. You stop occasionally to rest and to drink the cold water of small streams in the wild. Eventually, hunger sets in and you hunt. The pack works in a perfectly coordinated way, cornering a large deer and slaying it. The time has come to feast. Alright, we go rip, tear, devour. Gets a successful hunt with the following effects of Marshall plus one. There we go. Farewell. You have spent a long time out in the wild with the wolf pack now. Losing track of the days. The wolves treat you as one of their own. You've always felt the coursing of the wolf blood in your veins, but never as strong as now. You start to realize, however, that you have a home to return to, domains to oversee, and envious relatives that might covet your position. Reluctantly, you decide that it's time to return home. Okay. Nice. Alright, the homecoming. 
You return after spending several days out in the wild running with the wolves. As you appear in court, people stare in awed silence. Your clothes are torn and full of dirt, leaves, and blood. Your hair is disheveled and your face has scratches from branches and form the loving attentions of your pack mates. Should be from, not form. Um, but what perhaps impresses your subjects the most is the wild wolfish grin on your face. Uh, I guess... Ilke rushes out to meet you, fussing over you, and asking where you've been. It's my own business. Everything will be different now. Alright. Now, let's have a son, please. Dear Kagan, Keraton, and the Bulgar Empire, we are having some trouble with one of your petty nobles who is visiting. His behavior is unacceptable. Sultan Jamil the Evil, Sultan of Jordan. I guess I'll go with the diplomatic answer. Alright. You guys, we made assumptions based on lies. We were told, and I hope this incident will soon be forgotten. Alright, that's sorted then. Oh, we have raiders over here. Well, he has troops. He's gonna have to deal with it. Alright, but we are a bit long here, so I'm gonna have to end the episode. Almost done. This hill fort. We finished on the 29th of October. Then we can finally get that upgraded to a castle. And then we can get to actually upgrading the castles that we now have. Alright, so, we'll end it here for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.